Guys, do you hear that? No, no, not 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 the tripping fan. No, no, I I think it's coming from outside. <laughs> Just as I suspected, I heard you out here. I heard you calling my name, saying "spend money on me and fix me." Yep, we we have one headlight up and one headlight down. <laughs> all right, all right, car. We'll take you out today. We'll spend a little bit of money on you. I I don't want to. But you're, you're an expensive girl. I mean, you were a very cheap project car, but I mean, as all project cars go, you know, it sounds cheap. And are you gonna start? Oh, we always have to give it a little bit of gas. We gotta get a little pump, 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 pump. Now watch this. Boom! <laughs> How's it going, bros? My name is Snuffleupagus, and I'm back with another video in the Corvette. The, Cor the Corvette's out of gas, we, we need gas. But before we get any gas, I'm gonna go to surprisingly my favorite place to buy stuff for my car because I have all the exact same stuff at Walmart. The prices here versus AutoZone are just so much better and they're, they're basically the same thing. Oh my God, look how nice. Oh, we got a crazy barking dog over there. It looks like it's gonna bite that guy. <laughs> but the guy's trying to bet. Anyways, my car looks so good. I just, I, I can't, I mean, maybe you don't agree, but you should agree because my car looks freaking good. Anyways, we got all this stuff, and like I said, it was just so much cheaper to buy it at Walmart. You can go to AutoZone, and you can pay almost double for the exact same products. Now I know I did just get the car, and I literally have not even driven it 500 miles since the last oil change, but, but, I, I have an idea. I've been watching some videos, and I got this crazy idea. So we got this Marvel mystery oil. You basically just pour it in with your oil, and it will clean and remove all the gunk and sludge that's trapped in your system from just years and years of running and, and probably incorrect oil changes. I mean, this car was not amazingly taken care of before I got it. It's kind of like a coolant system flush. So we're gonna go big. We're gonna go with 25%. Now, my car takes four quarts of oil, and as you guys know, we have all types of leaks and, and burning oil problems with my car. Mainly, it's these valve cover gaskets. I open up the hood of the car when it's hot. You can see that the headers of the car are just burning all the oil that it leaked out during the drive. Anyways, long story short, we are missing about one quart of oil with just a short 500 miles of driving this car since I bought it. And in an interesting series of events, we have just teleported to a different parking lot. People kept wanting to come and talk about the car as I'm talking, which is fine. I appreciate it, but I am trying to talk, which doesn't bother me until someone comes up and goes, wait a minute, are you filming? Oh, I don't, I don't want to be in the video. Don't put me in the video. I, I mean, I wasn't even recording him. I just put the camera down. I was, anyways, all right, long story short, people are freaking annoying sometimes. Time. So this is hot because we've been driving, but we are gonna take it off anyway So this car takes about four quarts of oil now It's already burned slash dripped out one quart in about 500 miles of driving Which you know isn't great, but it actually works out perfectly for us because that allows us to add this one quart of Marvel mystery oil which will give us the 25% this is not gonna work I need to somehow go, oh crap it's, we're going I, I should have got a funnel I didn't buy a funnel they were a dollar we got it we got it we're going we're going in can you even see I'm really focused here crap 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 we're, we're making a mess we gotta stop making a mess what do I do oh man we are spilling this stuff everywhere so they do sell funnels for 87 cents at Walmart. I do suggest if you go and try this yourself, you pick one of those up or you, you bring a funnel with you because this is not ideal. Although I do know that this oil does clean. Crap, we're just gonna dump it in there. There we go. This oil does clean, so maybe it'll just clean up the engine a little bit if we spray it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a bright side. Now, although many reputable people that I really trust have sworn by this stuff, I, I, I'm always a little bit worried. I mean, if that blows my engine or something crazy happens, I'm, I'm probably gonna cry. But with that, like I said, our engine oil is fairly clean right now. We've only put 500 miles on it since we last changed the oil. So hopefully, at the end of the day, after a lot of driving, we can empty out the oil and hopefully it's absolutely disgusting. Or maybe maybe it won't be, I don't know. Hopefully my engine doesn't explode. That's what I'm hoping for. But, but I figure it wouldn't hurt to get a nice super cleaning. All right, here we go, moment of truth. We're gonna start her up. She cranked right up. I mean, I don't expect her to explode yet if she's gonna explode, but, but please don't explode. But we are completely on empty, as you can see. Well, it keeps going back and forth between empty and red, but we're, we're freaking empty. All right, I just parked and I noticed that there's a bunch of smoke coming out of the engine of my car. I'm a little bit freaking worried. Should I be worried? I mean, it always burns oil, but like, it's a decent amount and it was coming into the cabin. Let's take a look. Yeah, see, it's just oil, it's burning on the headers. 
but it's like it's a lot oh it's because I spilled so much that's why and again we're gonna pour some of this Tecron fuel system cleaner in I just do it in good faith I know a lot of people do it religiously I don't know if it's working but I, I hope it is you know it's kind of like my buddy who lives in California he drives a big truck he, he always used to say <laughs> When I drove my Prius, he'd make fun of me. He'd be like, it's about smiles per gallon, not miles per gallon. Uh, I, I, I guess I gotta agree. I gotta try to agree at least. It, it doesn't feel amazing putting 45 bucks, but at least I'm not in California. It'd be like 70 bucks to fill this freaking tank. Now my owner's manual wasn't really a lot of help. I've been trying to do some research online. People have all types of opinions. I've been putting premium 93 octane gas in and I don't want to. I want to find a reason to put the 87 in. If any of you have a car like this, what kind of gas do you put in? I'm looking for an excuse to switch over to the cheap stuff, but I don't want to wreck my car. I don't want it to be boggy. I don't want it to run poorly. I'm not even in gear. What am I doing? I'm in the middle of an intersection and I'm an idiot. Now, one thing that's been really bothering me is when I first got this car, the cigarette lighter worked. I could charge my phone, I could plug it in, and it just slowly stopped working over time. Over like a one day period, I was really using it a lot. It just completely died. Like now it doesn't even work at all. What the? Are you kidding me? How did that break? I thought, oh my God. So from what I understand, this is basically a socket that unscrews from this little housing port down here. You can see it. There's actually some threading at the bottom, which makes me believe. Let's try and zoom in. All right, so I just found this screw holding this carpet on, and if we remove it, we can see all the wires. This is so much easier to work on. Oh my God, it just screwed right off. Oh, I'm stupid, dude. I always do things the hard way. Okay, so this is the bottom. There we go. Awesome, all right, cool. So I wanna know if I can test this or if I just need to reply. I mean, it looks really bad. So I have an idea. I don't wanna go and buy a new power outlet if I don't need one. So I was just worried, you know, maybe the connection was bad, something was wrong, the ground was bad. So we have everything hooked up properly and we are just gonna go ahead and try to test it out like this. Now I did just do a little bit of research. I took a look in the owners. Oh, it lit up, it lit up, yes. Okay, so I had the incorrect fuse in the cigarette lighter. I didn't put it in there, but the incorrect fuse was in there. It was a 25 amp, and the Corvette manual says to put a 20 amp in there, and we have a freaking 20 amp in there now, and that lit up, that's so exciting. You never freaking know, moment of truth, please work, yes. The reason I'm so excited is because I went to AutoZone today, you can't see me, I went to AutoZone, and they said no, we do not sell them, you're gonna have to go to the dealer, and you're gonna have to buy one, it's gonna be seven million dollars, you know how it's like going to the dealer, they charge you so much money for things, and now I don't have to buy one. I guess things just weren't working correctly because somebody put the wrong fuse in there. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, I thought at least, I was gonna have to replace it because when it turned off, it slowly burned out over time. Like it was working and then it started working less and then it just stopped working altogether. So the light's still on, but let's test the cigarette lighter. Oh, it popped up. Oh, it is definitely back and it is working. That thing is red. It's actually hot to touch that thing. Now, while I had my owner's manual open, I actually realized and noticed something pretty freaking interesting. So leave it to Valvoline to completely screw me. They had the wrong type of oil in my car. I need 10W30, 10W40, 20W20, 20W40, 20W50, or 30. Now they had put 5W20 conventional oil, which is suitable for this car, but it's only made for 20 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which converts to like negative six to negative 30 degrees Celsius if you're not from the U. It doesn't make any sense. Why did they put that in there? We need to go get the right kind of oil. Now I'd say 10W30 and 10W40 appear to have the widest range and they're just what I need for the summertime. It looks like for the winter time, I'd wanna change over to 5W30 and that should get me through any of the zero or below zero temperatures that are possible to achieve here in the Northeast. It's kind of rare. Although I haven't decided yet, I might bring this car to California with me when I go back in the winter time. I might leave it here. I don't know. If I do take this car to California, then this 10W30 oil will be good pretty much year round. Oh, great. 
I just got here and I realized I forgot my mask. I feel so stupid because I just had to return something, the wrong oil, and I have a face mask on. I don't know if there's a difference between 30 or 40, but I'm just gonna grab the 30. And check it out, we got the Corvette, the leader of the mystery Walmart line. Speaking of mysteries, oh, I bought this phone mount, by the way, because I'm sick and tired of having nowhere to put my phone. Speaking of mysteries, I was doing a little bit of research and I realized I don't want to just leak all the mystery oil out tonight because that'd be a little bit counterproductive. It's not completely done working, although I've tried to just drive this car around all day. We only put 100 miles on the car today. That's, that's really not a lot. You're supposed to do 500 to even 1,000 miles. So I think I'm going to drive this car around for a little bit longer, and then we are going to drain the oil out, and we're going to see what it looks like. So with that, that's going to be the end of today. We got a lot of stuff done. We got the power inverter. That's not what this is called, but we got that thing fixed and we got all kinds of freaking fluids and we finally figured out the correct type of oil for my car. However, I'm not gonna put that in until I drain out the mystery fluid. So I'll see you in a few days. When I was a kid, this was Staples. Staples is is gone. Now this parking lot was always closed for the longest time, but they just recently opened it back up. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're gonna build something else here, but it gives us the perfect opportunity to have a flat space to work on the car because my driveway sucks and it's a big hill. Now hopefully we have everything we need to do an oil change. As I told you guys when I first bought the car, I checked the dipstick and it was completely dry. So I panicked and I took the car to Valvoline and they kind of, well I already talked about that earlier in the video. It just feels weird to me because it's been a couple days and it's like I gotta talk about everything over again but I guess I don't. So as instructed, I have let this car sit and cool for 30 minutes and the oil is looking and for 500 miles, it's it's pretty dark. So without any further ado, let us change the oil. Our oil flush is complete. Now for the record, before I drain the oil out of my car, I completely power washed the oil drain collection pan. So this is the exact oil that came out of the car. It's not mixed with anything and it is absolutely disgusting. I mean, look at all that disgusting sludge. It's been 500 miles since I put this oil in the car and it should not look like this, which means that the Marvel Mystery Oil actually worked. It got so much of this disgusting sludge that was caked and gummed up in my engine, which was probably causing some sort of performance issues, some sort of enhanced wear issues. I mean, I don't know for sure, but this is just disgusting and I can only assume Assume that you would not want this crap in your engine now like I said I've seen a lot of warnings from people that you can over clean your engine you don't want to leave this stuff in there for too long otherwise you might get some sludge out that's maybe protecting your engine from a leak now it's been two days since I drained this out I have the car in here in the garage now but I have been driving it around and I gotta say there are no new noticeable leaks the engine oil is still at full capacity four quarts of oil and it hasn't drained out it does drain out over time every 500 miles miles I burn quite a lot I, bur I burn plus leak almost a quart of oil and so far we have not lost anything noticeable at all so I'm super happy with the results and while I haven't personally noticed any difference in my car's performance fuel economy etc it's just kind of a peace of mind thing you want your car's engine to be taken care of and you want it to be zesty clean and that's kind of what I think I did <laughs> I, I hope <laughs> 